right now you're probably doing what so many of us are doing as well, and that's sharing photos of damage with your loved ones, your friends, whether it's small bits of damage, whether it's trees that have been blown over, whether it's your lawn furniture that's now in your neighbor's uh, backyard. Um, I had a, a neighbor up in the Edmond area, northwest Oklahoma City, that was um, lost a, a trampoline out of his yard over the fence, and he said that he had it actually tethered into the ground. That's how strong those winds were. And so now it's in a neighbor, another neighbor's house. So there's a lot of damage out there. And Damon, another another resource that we use a lot just within Oklahoma City is we, we like to look at what they're responding to. And here we are at 11 o'clock at night and we have at least 22 calls across Oklahoma City, a lot of power lines, injury crashes, and we never see this amount this late at night. And just real quick, power outages just jumped up now to over 43,000. Is that og &E? This is og &E's. Yep. power outages. Most of them, we're looking at more than 20,000 in Oklahoma City, over 13,000 in Midwest City, Dell City, Edmond, Spencer, Crescent, the list goes on. So that was, I mean, that's an enormous wow. jump that just uh, just happened as we were speaking. Yeah, and, and, I, and I expect that those numbers are going to continue to go up. Just some of the reports that we've had throughout the afternoon, you know, at around say, this is our parking lot. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Well, and I'm not surprised that this is our parking lot. I mean, we had we had 85 mile per hour winds. And by the way, just a heads up, I mean, we, you know, we drive down this parking lot all the time, all this driveway. This is a healthy, these are healthy trees here. And so this is a very small sample of what is going to be scattered all across from Edmond, Oklahoma City, up to Ponca City. We were getting reports earlier this afternoon, this evening, of so many trucks that had been blown off I-35 from these winds that uh, uh, Highway Patrol could not keep up. There were so many calls coming in. And so this right here, again, this is, this is, uh, these are, you know, healthy trees. There are gonna be some much bigger trees. And, and, I, and I'm telling you right now, when you tune in tomorrow morning to KOCO 5 News in the morning, and you are looking at Sky 5 and all of our crews out there, the pictures are going to be absolutely horrible. And even when the sun comes up and, you know, we're dealing with heat indices in the 110 to 115 degree range, it is going to be really, really bad as well because it is going to take days for us to recover from all of the power outages and all of the wind damage that we have with this storm. So